Hello, 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 my friend. Hope you're well and blessed. It is so awesome to come to you today with this awesome video proudly brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm here today to pray for you that God will boost up your self-confidence, that God will boost you up and give you self-esteem and self-confidence so that when you walk, you walk with confidence and that you feel good to be you. God is a good God and He created you wonderfully. He created you just the way you are and you are perfect the way you are. You don't have to change. The Bible says in Psalm 139 verse 14, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My dear friend, what this is saying is that God created you perfectly. God never created you as a failure. God never created you as rubbish. God never created you as someone to be looked down on. God never created you with a bad self-esteem and a bad uh, self-image. God never created you with a lack of confidence. God never created you ugly. The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's say that together. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Say it. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. My friend, I want to tell you something. The way I believe is different to other people. I don't believe what people say. I don't believe what the situation says. I don't believe the way the situation looks. I believe what the Word of God says. You see, my friend, the situation, people, things around, what they say doesn't matter. Do you know why? Because what they say changes over time. Today it might be good, tomorrow it might be bad. But the Word of God is constant. What it said in the beginning, it's still saying now. And the Word of God is solid and true. It is perfect. You can stand on it and it is true. You can stand on it and you can produce results in your life. So today, standing on the Word of God that says you are fearfully and wonderfully made, we're going to pray special prayers. And I want to tell you something. By the end of this video, your confidence will be boosted. But I want to encourage you. Download this video and play it for the next 100 days. The next 100 days, that's a bit more than three months. Every day, just play one time. One time a day, play this video and you will see results in your life. God is amazing and He is wonderful and He wants to bless you. The Bible says in Psalm 67, Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. And then the earth shall yield its increase. Then the blessings shall come down. My friend, I always start prayer by lifting up the Lord God Almighty. Let us lift him up together and you'll walk with confidence and power and you'll be walking and knowing that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Let us begin to praise the Lord God Almighty. Lord, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the All-Anointed One. You are the All-Knowing. You are the All-Powerful One. Lord, you are the Almighty. You are the Living God, the Father of Lights, the Lord of Lords, the Eternal One, the Ever-Present One. You are my Creator. You are my high tower. You are the Holy One. You are the Great I Am. You are the Counselor. You are my Father. You are my Heavenly Father. You are the Holy One of Israel. Lord, You are the Rose of Sharon. You are the Beloved Son. You are the Bread of Life. You are the Faithful Witness. You are the First and the Last. You are the First Begotten. You are the Good Shepherd. You are the Cornerstone. You are the Image of God. Lord, You are the horn of our salvation. Lord, you are the King of kings. Lord, you are the Lord of lords. Lord, you are the Lord of glory. Lord, you are the Lion of Judah, the Mediator, the Head of the Church, the Truth, the Sovereign, the Unsearchable, the Way, the Righteous, the Wise, the Pure, the Rock of our salvation. Lord, you are the Teacher. Lord, you are the All-Consuming Fire. Lord, you are excellent. You are a mighty fortress. You are compassionate. You are the Compassionate One. You are full of grace and mercy. Lord, you are my Savior. Lord, you are the bright and morning star and I worship you. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. I give you all the praise. You are worthy of all praise. You are worthy, Lord, and I lift you up. I praise you. Just begin to praise God in your own words. Tell him in your own words how much he means to you. Lord, you mean the world to me. You mean the world to me. You are my Father. You are my Creator. You are my Deliverer. You are my God. You are my best friend. You are my God. And I want to listen to you. I just want to do whatever you tell me to do. I want to follow you. I want to follow in your footsteps. You are worthy of all praise, Lord. You are the one solid person in this whole world, in this whole earth that we can rely on, that we can trust in. You are our God. You are love. You are wonderful. Lord, when I encountered you, you changed my life. Lord, you are worthy of all praise. And I just worship you right now. 
My dear friend, I feel the power of God. I feel the anointing. The anointing is in this place. And when the anointing comes, it comes to bring a divine change. When the anointing, the divine commodity of heaven, the divine substance of heaven, when it comes, when the divine power from heaven comes, it comes to bring a change. And that change is going to be effected in the area of your self-esteem and your confidence. You're going to be boosted. You're going to feel good to be you. You are going to walk on another level. Now, I want to do something. The Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 22, verse 28, it says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. So we're going to make some decrees. We're going to make some confessions. And I want you to follow along with me. I'm going to do it nice and slow, and I'm going to do it very boldly. And I want you to say it in the same tone that I'm saying it, and receive it and believe it. Do this for the next 100 days, once a day for the next 100 days, and you will see a change that will come in your life. Now, everything we're going to confess is from Scripture. These are Scriptures, but they are put in such a way that they can enhance you, they can embolden you, they can build up your self-esteem, your self-image, and your self-confidence. Are you ready for it, my friend? Without any further delay, let us begin. I am a child of God. Say that with me, my friend. I am a child of God. And that comes from Romans 8, 16 and John 1, verse 12. I am redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And that comes from Psalm 107, verse 2. I am forgiven. And that comes from Colossians 1, verse 13 and 14. I am saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. I hope you're saying this with me, my friend. I hope you're saying it and saying it confidently and boldly like you believe it, like you trust and you believe it. I am sanctified. I am justified. And that comes from Romans 5 verse 1. I am a new creature in Christ. And that comes from 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. I am a partaker of His divine nature. And that comes from 2 Peter 1 verse 4. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. And that comes from Galatians 3 verse 13. I am delivered from the powers of darkness. And that comes from Colossians 1 verse 13. I am led by the Spirit of God. And that comes from John 16 verse 13 and Romans 8 verse 14. I am a son of God. I am a son of God. If you're a daughter, say you are a daughter of God. I am a son of God. And that comes from John 1 verse 12 and Romans 8 verse 16. I am safe from danger wherever I go. And that comes from Psalm 91 verse 1 to 13. I am getting all my needs met by Jesus. And that comes from Psalm 37 and Philippians 4 verse 18 and also from Matthew 6 verse 33. I am casting all my cares on Jesus. That comes from 1 Peter 5 verse 17. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. And that comes from Ephesians 10, 6 verse 10 and 11. I am doing all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that comes from Philippians 4 verse 13. I am an heir of God and a joint heir with Jesus. And that comes from Romans 8 verse 17. I am an heir to the blessing of Abraham. And that comes from Galatians 3 verse 13 and 14. I am observing and doing the Lord's commandments. And that comes from Deuteronomy 28 verse 12 and John 13 verse 34. I am blessed coming in and I'm blessed going out. That comes from Deuteronomy 28 verse 6. I am an heir of eternal life. That comes from 1 John 5 verse 11 and 12. I am blessed with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. Meaning I have everything. I have everything that I need to live this life. And that comes from Ephesians 1 verse 3. By His stripes I am healed. That comes from 1 Peter 2 verse 24. I am exercising my authority over the enemy. And that comes from Luke 10 verse 19 and Psalm 91 verse 13. I am above only and not beneath. I am successful. That comes from Deuteronomy 28 verse 13 and uh, John 3 verse 1 and 2. I am more than a conqueror. That comes from Romans 8 37 and 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. I am establishing God's word here on earth. And that comes from Matthew 6 verse 19. I am an overcomer by the blood of Jesus and the word of my testimony. And that comes from Revelation 12 verse 11. I am daily overcoming the devil. I am daily overcoming the devil. I am not moved by what I see. That comes from 2 Corinthians 4 verse 18. I am walking by faith and not by sight. And that comes from 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. I am casting down vain imaginations. 
and that comes from 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 and 5. I am bringing every thought into captivity. That comes from 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5. I am being transformed by the renewing of my mind. And that comes from Romans 12 verse 1 and 2. My friend, I hope you are saying this with me because it will change your life. I am a laborer together with God. And that comes from 1 Corinthians 3 verse 9. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And that comes from 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. I am an imitator of Jesus Christ. That comes from Matthew 11 verse 29 and Ephesians 5 verse 10. I am the light of the world. And that comes from Matthew 5 verse 14. I am blessing the Lord at all times with my mouth. That comes from Psalm 34 verse 1. My friend, even as we made these confessions, I want you to trust and believe that God has done something in your life. Now I pray for you. Father, I pray for my dear friend watching this video. I pray for my brother. I pray for my sister. Wherever my dear friend is, be it in the United States, be it in Mexico, be it wherever my friend is, be it in Ethiopia, wherever my friend is, Lord, I pray that you will effect a divine change in the name of Jesus. Even if it's in Nigeria, wherever it is, Lord, I trust and believe that distance is not a barrier for you. Lord, let your power touch my dear friend who is watching this video right now. Let your divine heavenly commodity, your anointing, your power to effect a change, touch my dear friend who is watching this video. Let power come over like a blanket right now. Lord, send your angels, your angels, your holy angels to perform a divine work on my dear friend who is watching this video. Lord, I pray for a boost in self-confidence, self-esteem. Lord, I pray that when my dear friend is walking and talking to other people and communicating with other people, my friend will feel confident. My brother will feel confident. My sister will feel confident. Whoever it is who is watching this video right now, that they will be encouraged and boosted and they will feel good to be them. Lord, I pray if there's any injury of the past, if there's any hurt and pain, of the past rooted deep down in my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I pray that you will heal it right now. Heal it right now. Heal that hurt and pain that happened when they were a young child, Lord, and bring them to the knowledge that they are fearfully and wonderfully made, Lord. I ask and thank you for it. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, who is worthy to be praised, who is our savior, who came and died for us to restore us back to you, who is alive today, right now, who you raised from the dead, in accordance with scripture and the prophecies in the Bible and he is alive right now. I ask this in his name, in the name of Jesus, in the name above all names. Amen and Amen. Wow, I feel the anointing my friend. I trust and believe that even as you listen to this video daily for the next hundred days, God is going to effect a change in your life. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and when you look at yourself, start to feel good to be you. Feel good to be you because God created a good thing. He never created something that's bad, something that should be looked down on. He created something that's good. He created you and you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And saying that, we come to the end of the video. I'd just like to let you know that I'm praying for each and every one of you. Keep the prayer requests coming in. Keep the messages coming in. I want to hear from you. When God does something in your life, make sure you send it in. I want to hear. If I'm praying for you, if I'm believing God with you, um, it's only fair that I get to rejoice with you. Don't you agree? I think that's the way it should be. So send in your message. Let me know when God does something amazing in your life. I read all the messages. I read everything that you send in. And I just want to tell you, God is going to do something amazing in your life. Just trust and believe. Hold on to Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Hold on to Jesus, the true way. He is the Savior. He is the true way to God, the only way. Jesus Christ. In saying that, we come to the end of the video. I bless you with the blessing to the obedience of the voice of God in Christ Jesus. Until we meet again next time, from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, Shalom and goodbye.